Hi everybody, welcome to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, January 1st, 2023. It's good to be with you, and we have an amazing show tonight. Tonight we are honoring one of the true legends and uh, most significant performers in American folk music, Mr. Tom Paxton. And I'm going to get to the chase to the music as quickly as we can, but uh, I just want to say uh, how honored we are to have Mr. Paxson join us and also a amazing array of people who are here to pay tribute to Tom in honor of his recent 85th birthday. Most of you know this, and probably all of you, but Tom began his career in the early 1960s in Greenwich Village and uh, quickly became known for his brilliant songwriting and fine performances and through the years has written some of the <clears throat> most precise, I would say, and perceptive political songs of our time, and continues to do so. And in fact, in tonight's concert, there will be several artists who are currently co-writing with Tom, uh, creating new work as we speak, and we'll be seeing some of those later. But I want to get to the music right away, and uh, let me just mention, you'll be joined on screen by our co-MCs, Ron Alesco and Mike Regenstreif, in just a couple minutes. Ron of FolkMusicNotebook.com, of course, and Mike Regenstreif of the Saturday morning radio show in, uh, in Canada. To start off the concert tonight, uh, it seems fitting that we have a person who is a genuine resident, uh, still officially, on MacDougall Street in Greenwich Village. And not only that, but he's going to play a song for us that is uh, one of Tom's um, historical songs, you might say, written about the occasion when Mississippi John Hurt came to New York City and played the gaslight on MacDougall Street. Tom wrote a song about it, and in the 1990s, Dave Van Runk recorded that song and made it a regular part of his concerts. And uh, Dave, of course, uh, beloved by, by all of us, uh, was also a tremendous teacher and um, one of the students that he worked with for a, quite a long time is currently doing very well on his own. And so uh, I asked him if he could sing this song for us tonight. And he said, absolutely, he knew it. And it would give him a chance to pay tribute to three of his uh, uh, heroes, as he put it to me, on the phone, Dave, Tom, and also Mississippi John Hurt. Chris, you ready out there? So I'd like to welcome to McDougal Street resident and... Uh, very fine singer guitarist in his own, Chris Lowe. You ready there, Chris? There you go. How you doing, buddy? Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to all you folks out there. Yes, Happy New Year, and it really is uh, a wonderful thing to be able to be here to honor Tom, Dave, and of course, John Hurt. <laughs> Listen 
to the tap and feed And did you hear John Hurt Playing Creole Bell Spanish Fandango That he loved so well And did you love John Hurt Did you shake his hand Thank you, Chris Lowe. What a, what a great song to start us off with tonight. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Ronald Lesko. I'll be co-emceeing tonight's uh, event with uh, my good friend Mike Regenstreif. And we have some wonderful performers, some old friends of Tom, some new friends. And I think you're going to enjoy what you're going to hear. Now, some of the uh, performances are live. Some are going to be pre-recorded. Uh, but I think you're going to enjoy this this evening. Now, as we're going to witness tonight... Tom has been co-writing songs with a number of artists over the years, and, and some of these co-writes were inspired in recent years by the pandemic, and it utilized Zoom for, for weekly sessions. Uh, some of these artists were young artists that Tom has helped mentor, and others were old friends. Kathy Fink and Marcy Markser have known and, and worked with Tom since they first met at a folk festival back in the 80s. Uh, they produced several of Tom's albums. The three have toured as a trio in both the U.S. and the U.K. And when the pandemic took hold in 2020, Kathy, Marcy, and Tom would get together via Zoom to co-write. And after two years, they had quite a collection of songs. So they decided to record 28 of them, both live and in the studio. And the result is a magnificent two-CD collection called All New. Now, on January 13th, they'll be performing in a live show in person at the Music on the Square in Baltimore. Uh, they'll be there with Tom and well as Alex Laquament, Kimber Ludeker, and the show will feature songs from the double CD, as well as some new songs that they've co-written since that album came out a year ago. And of course, they'll be performing some classics as well. Uh, you can find out more at their website, kathymarcy.com. Now, they're doing some traveling today. They couldn't be with us live tonight, but they recorded a very special set to honor their dear friend. Please enjoy this video from Kathy Fink and Marcy Markser. I can't think of a better way to start the new year than to express my gratitude to our friends, to our loved ones. And this is a song that Tom and I wrote in June of 2021 to specifically express our gratitude and love for Grace Griffith, who passed away in June of 2021 of a long debilitating time with Parkinson's disease. And in expressing our gratitude to Grace and writing this song for her, we realized it just encompassed everyone that we care about and how grateful we are to have them and to have y'all in our circles. And this is called Grateful. Please sing on the chorus, by the way. It's really easy. The lines go like this. And I'm grateful for the love that 
will not die. I'm grateful as the years go slipping by. I'm grateful to be able to sing this song. My gratitude to you is ever strong. I want to express our gratitude to Tom Paxton for over 45 years of friendship, of working together, and of essentially being family. We love you, Tom. My dear friend Ingrid Crapo from the amazing children's music puppetry group Dinosaur Rock has a gigantic collection of sewing machines that she's in love with. It's kind of like us being in love with our guitars, our musical instruments our songs. She's a puppeteer. She's a master carpenter. She sews mascot costumes for all of the major teams in Washington, D.C. And she came over for dinner one night and she said, you know that song you and Tom wrote about your Guild D25 guitar? That's how I feel about my sewing machines. I said, well, Ingrid, send me something about your sewing machines. Write something. And the next time Tom and I write together, we'll see if we can put together a song. The next day I got this beautiful piece from Ingrid, totally beautiful, and the next time Tom and I wrote together, we put this together. We decided it was more of a poem than a song. I can relate to it because I'm also a quilter, 
And of course, all of my quilting friends relate to this beautifully. It's called My Sewing Machines. And Tom and I wrote it on October 12th of, nine, of 2022. I love my sewing machines. I said machines, I have nine. Sounds like a lot, but that's just fine. I love my sewing machines. I've owned as many as 20. And though that sounds like plenty, each one has its very own stitch. Each one has a little hitch. But when I flip the magic switch, I can tell by the special hum and the whir of the motor's drum that we're going to get along fine, these sewing machines of mine. I love my sewing machines. The sounds from a buzz to a ring, chug it a chug it a start and stop, zippity zappity zippity pop. Marbles dropping on a hardwood floor or my loudest machine from an antique store. I can't tell you all it will do, but I can tell you we call it the B-52. I love my sewing machines. No other machine, no matter how new, can make a buttonhole as perfect as you. Toyota made a sewing machine before they made a car. Good thing they made a car. I love my sewing machines. Each one as royal as a queen. Sounds and smells, smells and sounds. Their music makes the fabric go round like pigeons pecking on a window pane or the clickety-clack of a passing train. Tick-a-tack-tack, tick-a-tack-tack, ticka keeps the fabric from stick-a, stick stick -a. I love my sewing machines. 15,000 yards of thread, white, blue, purple, red, eight and a half miles of cotton strand has passed between my machine and my hand. I'm only halfway through the year with miles of fabric to sew and steer. I look down <clears throat> and I can claim my machine and I are one and the same. But just as I thought that nine was enough, I had to get one more. My tenth machine sews puppet fur, and it just fit in the door. My oldest machine is as old as I am. We're still kicking butt. I've had more replacement parts, and my friends think I'm a nut. The world turns on a thread these days, and we handle it in so many ways. The only thought for me worth knowing is my machines and I are going to keep sewing. In honor of Ingrid Crepeau, bye. Tom Paxton and Kathy Fink, My Sewing Machines. Our last contribution to this wonderful celebration of Tom Paxton's music is going to be one more song that Tom and I wrote together. We recorded uh, on our album All New with Marcy, Alex Lacamont, and Kimber Ludiker. And we chose this video in particular because there's so many people involved in this concert who made contributions to it. Tom thought of Pete Seeger as one of those people whose shoulders we stand on. And he and I wrote a song called Standing on Your Shoulders, particularly in honor of Pete. But I sent a call out for people to contribute photographs of them with Pete or them working with Pete or of Pete. And so many people in this project uh, tonight contributed to that, including John McCutcheon and Holly Near. And so we've decided to include our video of it that Tom sings on as well, Standing on Your Shoulders, Pete. We've been standing on your shoulders, Pete, for oh so many years. I tell you it's amazing, Pete, the view you get from here. You can see humanity in countries near and far. You can see the world, Pete, no matter where you are. One voice with a banjo on the corner of the street Sings a song of hope and change with a melody so Chance to feel the power of a song. We've been standing on your shoulders, Pete, for oh so many years. I 
tell you it's amazing peak, the view you get from here. You can see humanity in countries near and far. You can see the world peak, no matter where you are. Says the Hudson's not as clean as it could be. All along the river, people say that they agree. The struggle is a long one, and it's filled with storms and gales. But the victory, the greater, as clear water hoists her sails. We've been standing on your shoulders, feet. For all so many years, I tell you it's amazing, Pete. The view you get from here, you can see humanity in countries near and far. You can see the world, Pete, no matter where. Like Woody and Joe Hill, the songs of you are truth to power, and they always will. There's a banjo ringing somewhere, and a yodel in the air, and they tell us we've got work to do with the power we all share. We've been standing on your shoulders, Pete. For oh so many years, I tell you it's amazing, Pete. The view you get from here, you can see humanity in countries near and far. You can see the world, Pete, no matter where you are. We can see the world, Pete, no matter where you are. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Marcy. And of course, thank you, Tom. Uh, I first met Kathy many, many years ago uh, uh, when we were both teenagers and she arrived in Montreal to go to McGill University. And uh, even a, a few years before that, uh, I met Tom Paxton at McGill University when I was about all 15 years old and he came to do a concert there, a concert that I vividly remember uh, more than almost probably close to 55 years later. Uh, I'm Mike Regenstreif, and uh, I am the host of the uh, of two shows on CKCU Radio in uh, Ottawa, uh, Ottawa, Ontario. I host the Saturday morning show once every four weeks, but uh, my weekly show is a theme-based show called Stranger Songs, which is heard on Tuesdays. And uh, my theme this coming Tuesday is Songs of Tom Paxton, as performed by Tom and by many other artists, some of whom uh, are appearing on tonight's show. So it's, uh, it's a great honor for me uh, to be here tonight. Uh, I've had a chance to work with Tom uh, many times over the years, uh, uh, producing concerts uh, with him in, in Montreal, where I used to live, and uh, at folk festivals. So uh, I, I'm thrilled and honored uh, to be one of the MCs tonight, along with uh, my friend Ronald Lesko. Our next performer is uh, Jackson Emmer, who is uh, based in Colorado. He's a singer, songwriter, recording artist, and performer whose work comes uh, from where I listen to his, his music, and I call it the intersection of folk music and real deal country music with some rock and roll flavoring. Uh, I guess what some folks would call Americana music. Uh, Jackson has collaborated in songwriting with several other notable writers, and most appropriately for our purposes, with Tom Paxton. Jackson is going to do a song he's co-written with Tom. Here is Jackson Emmer. Hello, friends. Thanks for having me. Uh, this show is incredible, and I'm honored to be a part of it. 
I'm going to sing a song I wrote with Tom called Cornflakes and Whiskey. Uh, I woke up one day and like scribbled this idea down and brought it into a Zoom chat with Tom. And Tom said, you know, I'm going down a list of other ideas. And we get to Cornflakes and Whiskey and Tom goes, that's it. That's it. We're writing that one. So without further ado. Cornflakes and Whiskey and someone else's toothbrush. A good sign I've had too much who's to say. Guess I got frisky. Blame that on the animal in me. This jubilee. Went to bed in San Francisco. Woke up in Corpus Christi. Cornflakes and whiskey. I was at the jukebox. Very next thing I knew. I was dancing two-step with a pretty girl named Sue. We sat in the corner, we had a drink or ten. Next thing I hear is the preacher saying, kiss the bride, amen. Cornflakes and whiskey, and someone else's toothbrush. A good sign I've had too much, who's to say? Guess I got frisky, blame that on the animal in me. This jubilee. Went to bed in San Francisco, woke up in Corpus Christi. Cornflakes and whiskey on the fiddle. And the bass. They say I robbed a bank, they say I stole a tank, they say I freed two tigers from the zoo. There was a thousand mile car chase, while I'm back up at my place, my lawyer wants to blame it all on Sue. And I do too, cornflakes and whiskey, someone else's toothbrush, a good sign I've had too much who's to say. Guess I got frisky, blame that on the animal in me, this jubilee. Went to bed in San Francisco, woke up in Corpus Christi. Cornflakes and whiskey, cornflakes and whiskey, cornflakes and... Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you, Jackson. Jackson Emmer, what a great song that you two wrote. Breakfast of Champions. Uh, look, don't knock it till you tried it, you know. When you're out of milk, you're out of milk. you got to do what you do. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's enjoying this. We're, we've got so many great artists coming up tonight and some surprises, so stick around. Uh, this is a free event, as I'm sure some of our regulars know, uh, but we do have a tip jar. Uh, if you're able to help support us and keep this going, we've been doing this every month uh, since July of 2020 when the pandemic was in full bloom. And we're, we're, we've got a, a wonderful group that follows us every month, and, and we hope that uh, to continue with this for a long time to come. But it's your help that makes it possible. So if you'd like to help, I, I don't know if it's going to be posted in the uh, chat feature, but you can go to GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org to uh, make a donation. And it'll help keep this going and help support the artists and, and the, uh, the tech crew that we have that's putting this together. And uh, you'll be seeing some more great things in the months to come, which we'll tell you about later on. But up next, we have a special video greeting from another of Tom's friends. She has had a long career as an actress on TV and Broadway, but she's probably most recognized as a singer-songwriter. And one of her songs became a huge hit for Bette Midler. It was the title song for a little film called The Rose. Here is a video greeting from Amanda McBroom. It's a lesson too late for the learning. Tom Paxton. 
You have no idea what you did to my life. But I was 14, my aunt bought me a guitar because she knew I wanted to be a folk singer. Because I listened to Peter, Paul, and Mary, I listened to the Kingston Trio. I wanted so much to be a folk singer. And the first song I learned on my guitar was, Are you going away with no words of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? And I played it over and over again. I played it around the house. I played it at the cafeteria in high school. I sang it at the livestock show. I sang it forever. So I can say that you are the one to blame for the beginning of my career as a singer-songwriter. And I have to say, I so appreciate the shove you gave me. Here's to you, you brilliant, lovely, talented man. Mwah. On my It is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger and I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only seed. It's the heart that fears the breaking, that never learns to dance. It's the dream. such a classic beautiful song uh, uh great to hear that song and uh our next uh, our next performer uh, that we're going to hear from tonight uh, uh live is eric erickson 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 eric <laughs> comes from the uh, music community of woodstock new york the legendary music community of woodstock new york he's a veteran singer and songwriter who has also been like uh, ron alesco and myself a folk music broadcaster Peter Yarrow, who we'll hear from later this evening, has said, Eric is a warm and wonderful performer. His songs carry on a marvelous tradition that we gratefully inherit. Here is Eric Erickson. Thank you, Mike. 
And thank you all for, uh, for uh, staying with us tonight. And happy birthday, Tom. This is a song that Tom wrote some years ago uh, in response to a practice that's been called mountaintop removal. But it is, in fact, mountain removal. <laughs> There goes the mountain, father of fir trees, home of the grizzlies, under its snow, shorn of its timber, torn by the monsters, taken by truckloads to the great plains below. There goes the mountain, the avalanche maker, Heaven's caretaker, breeder of streams. There goes the mountain, maker of thunder, torn down for the plunder, remembered in dreams. There goes the mountain, breeder of sunrise, Giant by starlight, the highest and best. Roar of the engine, the first of its lifetime. Take what people value, spit out the rest. There goes the mountain, the avalanche maker. Heaven's caretaker, reader of streams. There goes the mountain, maker of thunder, torn down for the plunder, remembered in dreams. Lord of the highlands, home of the eagle, catcher of snowfall for millions of years. Bleeding in mudslides, torn of its inside. Pray to the skills of the bold engineers. There goes the mountain, the avalanche maker, heaven's caretaker, breeder of streams. There goes the mountain, maker of thunder. Torn down for the plunder, remembered in dreams. There goes the mountain, remembered in dreams. There goes the mountain, remembered in dreams. Now, sticking with E minor here. E, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sticking with E minor for, th for this evening, E for Eric. Um, I'm often reminded of something that Christine Lavin has said a few times, which is, you have to be careful what you say around a singer or songwriter, because you may wind up in a song. And it was overhearing a conversation in one of the galleries in Woodstock that inspired this tune. I see that the picture in blue caught your eye, the one on the middle shelf The work that's on display All at eye level Those pieces I made myself The ones in the corner Were done by a friend I sell them here on consignment Together we watch As the folks come and go in my voluntary confinement I 
I got no pension, I got no savings, got no retirement plan. I hold my future right here in my hands. Marie and I opened the shop years ago. We figured our fortune to make. But the hours and the tedium soon wore her down. She took all she could take. Now each night at seven I turn out the lights and head up the stairs for a meal. Spending the evening in fine solitude, alone with my thoughts and my will. I got no pension. I got no savings. Got no retirement plan. Future right here with my hands. I studied law one semester. I stayed till I had my fill. But as always, I heeded the calling of the clay and the glaze and the kill. You're up for the weekend and come through my door, spending as much as you care to take back a present to give to a friend, or forget in a closet somewhere. Thanks for your patronage. Thanks for your cash. Thank you for hearing my story. Now I will return to my pots and my bowls, counting up my inventory. I got no pension, no, I got no savings, got no retirement plans. I hold my future right here in my hands, right here. In so much thank you I appreciate that okay here's a song that I uh, wrote after my wife and I took a trip to Bavaria to see the total eclipse of the sun of the sun and when I do my gigs I go on and on about this tune and take about twice as long to introduce it as it does actually to sing it but I do want to point out one thing that is mentioned in the lyrics which is a diamond ring which is uh, what happens just before and just after totality, when the sun is shining through one little crater on the edge of the moon. And so what you see is this yellow circle with a glow in the middle of it, and it looks like a diamond ring. The shadow of the moon made a path across the land and spread a shroud of darkness where my love and I did stand. A haunting apparition, the stars at midday shone, the brightest in the heavens, save the one that shines alone. Amid a ring of twilight, ebony overhead, confused, bewildered beasts and fowl, to roost and stable fled, and shrined within its halo, the black sun blazed above, and conjured a false midnight. As I held my own true love
Before the vision ended And birds returned to sing The final gifts bestowed on us A stunning diamond ring And memories of grandeur That disappeared too soon A love renewed and kindled in the shadow of the moon A love renewed and kindled In the shadow of the moon Tom, thank you for all those years of inspiration, great songs. Great performances. Thank you all for having me here tonight. Oh, and thank you for being here, Eric Erickson. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying what you're seeing. We've got so much more coming up and some surprises as well. Uh, I just want to mention one thing. I, I mentioned earlier about the tip jar. Uh, apparently, we do have people that are listing the link in the YouTube and the Facebook chat feature. So if you're able to, click on that. And if you can donate a few bucks, to keep this going, by all means, we, we are so grateful and we appreciate your help. And again, you can also go to the website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org, and you'll find uh, the uh, link to contribute. You'll also find links to the previous festivals that we've held, and you'll see some of the finest performers in our folk music community. Well, right now, we have another video greeting from another of Tom's dear friends. She's also one of the folk community's most influential singer-songwriters. She recently was nominated for a Grammy Award, and this is her 10th Grammy nomination in her illustrious career. And this year, she's up for Best Folk Album of 2022, The Light at the End of the Line. Here is a special message from Janice Ian. Hey, Tommy. This is Janice Ian the only person in the world allowed to call you Tommy. Well, you're the only person in the world allowed to call me Janny. I met Janice on stage the first time she ever performed at the age of 13. When I was 13 years old, doing my very first professional gig ever at the Village Gate, I was seated next to you for the Hootenanny. And when I got up and I sang my little song, I had never seen somebody perform and get an encore. So when the audience started applauding, I said thank you and turned around and went back to my seat. Well, they gave me a standing ovation. And you pushed me and said, get back there, kid, get back there. I think you were probably thinking, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Anyway, here we are all those decades later. It's unbelievable. When I think that I sent away for a publicity photo of you and the record company sent me one, man, I treasure that photo. I still have it. And when I think of all the gigs we did together, the fabulous Indian food we ate together, great backstage stories you told, my friend, I miss you more than words can say. And I love you like crazy. Big hugs. Happy belated 85th. Wish I could be there with you. Can't wait to see you in a few months. Love you lots. This is Janice Ian, signing off. Thank you, Janice. Uh, lovely, uh, some lovely words there uh, about her enduring friendship with uh, Tom Paxton. Our next uh, performers are also going to be on video. The Don Wands, uh, the duo of Grammy Award winning songwriters Don Henry and John Vesner, uh, have been uh, writing songs and uh, touring with Tom Paxton in, in recent years. The Don Wands songs have been recorded by many artists, and perhaps one of their most notable songs is the poignant and beautiful Where Have You Been, a, a hit in 1990 for Kathy Matea, who we'll be hearing from later tonight. It was the first song in country music history to sweep Song of the Year awards at the Grammys, the ACMs, the CMAs, and the Nashville Songwriters Association International Awards. Again, the Don Juans have collaborated with Tom Paxton on songwriting and have toured and recorded with him. 
Here is Don Henry and John Besner, the Don Wands. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're the Don Wands. He's Don. John. John. Do the math. And uh, <laughs> we're going to do, uh, we're really happy to be here. We're going to do a couple of songs that we wrote with Tom. We've written many with Tom, and it's a couple of our favorites. So uh, it'll be called Winter Cowboys. going to do one more it's another <coughs> song that we, Don and I wrote with Tom I think it's the second song we wrote together um, here in Nashville Tennessee and it's one of our favorites we've we've never done this as a duo yeah or even practiced it as so a we'll duo. see what happens so. this is Tom usually sings this one all the way through for us <coughs> it's called Eleanor song <laughs> Where the prairie begins And all of the mad 
Congratulations, Tom. We miss you, buddy. See y'all. <laughs> the Don Wands. That's uh, Don Henry and John Vesner. Uh, together with Tom, they, they're incredible. By themselves, they're incredible. Solo, they're incredible. What an incredible night. <laughs> and there's more coming. Uh, looking at our schedule later on tonight, we'll be hearing from Noel Paul Stuckey, Peter Yarrow, John McCutcheon, Tom Chapin, Cliff Eberhardt, Tim Grimm. The wonderful group Buffalo Rose, plus we have some recorded uh, announcements from Kathy Matea, Holly Near, and uh, maybe a surprise. So stick around for that. Um, right now, I want to introduce our next performer, and I'm so happy that she could be back with us tonight. Um, back in 1975, she was working as a waitress and a bread baker at the historic Cafe Lena in Saratoga Springs. And she received some good advice when she was there from the late Dave Van Ronk. He suggested that she come to the village to take some guitar lessons from him. 
Well, we're all so lucky that she took his advice. She has become one of the most loved artists on the folk scene, and she's currently working on her 26th album. And of course, she's no stranger to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, both as a performer and our former co-MC. It's so good to have her back. Please welcome Christine Lavin. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. And you know what? In 1975, that's when I met Tom Paxton, too. I was also ushering at the uh, Great American, no, not the Great American Music Hall, the Saratoga Music Hall. And uh, I got to say, I'm going to do a really, really short Tom Paxton song, maybe the shortest one he's ever written. And not only did he write it, he co-wrote it with Fred Kohler and Dave Mallett. Oh, and by the way, I usually give a shout out to Eileen and Alan Pepper, but Eileen and Alan Pepper are giving a shout out to Tom Paxton. Alan Pepper owned the bottom line for 30 years, absolutely adored Paxton, loved to present him every time, and he sends his, his best, and so does Eileen, Tom. They, they, both, they both just love you. Now, I gotta say, every line in the song is packed with genius. That's what happens when you get Fred Kohler David Mallett and Tom Paxton together and this song is dedicated to all the moms and dads out there who gave their kids the gift of music this past Christmas and Hanukkah and solstice season. This is by Tom Paxton, Fred Kohler and Dave Mallett. fails to make me smile and laugh and I just want to contradict Christine on one point that is not the shortest song that Tom Paxton ever wrote uh, uh, that honor probably goes to the ballad of Spiro Agnew for any of you that might remember that one uh, next up we have uh, Josh White Jr and uh, in terms of longevity I cannot think of another active folk singer who has been around as long as Josh White Jr the son of the legendary and influential blues and folk singer Josh White, he began singing on stage with his father at age four in 1944. Josh White Jr. has recorded many fine albums and has thrilled audiences at thousands of concerts over the decades, including a couple at the Golem, the folk club that I ran in Montreal in the 1970s and 80s. Here is Josh White Jr. Hi. Um... I'm not Josh White Jr. I'm Josh White III. Um, unfortunately, my father could not be here this evening due to some, um, he had some issues that he could not uh, be here for. However, Tom, happy belated birthday on behalf of my father and my family and myself. Uh, you have been a part of our lives for Oh my goodness. Um, well, I remember at least since, since I was eight and I'm not telling you how old I am. However, um, I know my dad wanted to be a part of this and I could not not be a part of this for him. So I gotta tell you, 
you have been an influence in our lives for I can't tell you how long. And I am actually, aside from acting and being a mime, um, I host karaoke. And every night in every one of the bars that I work, when I do karaoke, I do this song of yours. So thank you very much for this. And the bar staff thanks you very much for this. And it is actually a sing-along. So here's Tom Paxton's. Please remember your waitress. That's a very nice thing to do. Cause if you forget your waitress tonight, it's certain she won't forget you. A working girl's life is a hard one. Too quickly their wages are spent. She looks to the Lord for protection, but she's counting on you for the rent. Thank you so much. I'm sorry my dad couldn't be here. I hope I was a adequate substitute. Happy birthday, Tom. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, you were more than an adequate substitute, but of course we we miss your dad, and we we all send him our best, and uh, hopefully we'll get him back on here real soon. Well, um, we have our our next performer coming up now. Now, he has worked as a ranger and a criminal investigator in a number of of national parks and public lands across the West for three decades, and then he began touring as a full time musician at the age of fifty. Well, since then, he has toured all across the U.S., recorded eight solo albums, became a member of the legendary 60s folk trio, The Limelighters. He's also a Kerrville New Folk winner and is currently recording an album of songs that he co-wrote with Tom Paxton. <laughs> I'm privileged to call him a friend, and we are all <laughs> privileged that he could be with us tonight. Please welcome Daniel Bowling. Howdy, folks. I am just delighted that we can gather to celebrate Tom and his wonderful songs. Um, in the 60s, I was a kid, and my daddy worked in the Air Force, and he would bring folk music recordings home from the GI Library. And Tom's songs made a huge impact on me then and continued to, uh, probably a lot of the reason that I became a folk singer and songwriter. But uh, it never occurred to me 50-plus years ago that a day might come when Tom and I would get to be friends and write songs together. Uh, but here we are, and we're having a great time. As Ron mentioned, we're recording an album right now that's entirely songs we've written together. This is one of those songs, but this song also has another co-writer who is also part of our gathering tonight, uh, Noel Paul Stuckey. And Tom and I wrote this song. So... <laughs> We used to jitterbug, nowadays we don't. Our spirits are willing, our bodies just won't. Between us, we may have a long list of faults. But thank heaven, we can still walk. Dancing with old folks, brings back better days, days that seem long ago now. Moving together as the saxophone plays, back then everybody knew how. And there are a few things you never forget. It's kind of like riding a bike. Each partner you met was the loveliest yet. We'd keep dancing as long as we liked. And we used to jitterbug, nowadays we don't. Our spirits are willing, our bodies just won't. Between us we may have a long list of faults. But thank heaven we can still waltz. A few times a year for a Saturday night. They hang up crepe paper and turn down the lights, move tables and chairs, set up the band, 
the music strikes up, we each take someone's hand. So many women, but just a few men Out on the dance floor tonight But when they go spinning and spinning again It's oh such a beautiful sight And the boys in the band sure aren't boys anymore But they sure love to play the old tune and all of us dancers are filling the floor Till it's time to go back to our rooms But we used to jitterbug, nowadays we don't Our spirits are willing, our bodies just won't Between us we may have a long list of faults But thank heaven we can still waltz Thank heaven we can still waltz Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I, uh, I spoke to Tom about this song idea, but we didn't wind up writing it together. I wrote it alone, and Tom hasn't heard it yet. So I hope that he likes it. Uh, you know, Tom's famous for taking on important issues in his songs, and so I, I think he may appreciate this one. Lord knows I would not go back there even if I could Maybe we were dreaming then But not all dreams are good And if somehow I did go back I like to think I would Do my best to make amends The devil knows I should I used to ride that train of thought I used to tell those jokes A lot of things look different to me Ever since I woke I want you to be happy I want you to be whole I want you to be free to live Under no one's control to be your honest self and never have to play a role. <clears throat> see only, <clears throat> see no only peace and safety there is in your body, mind and soul. I used to ride that train of thought. I used to tell those jokes. A lot of things look different to me ever since I woke. I'm paying more attention now and gaining comprehension now, living with intention now, questioning convention to ride that train of thought I used to tell those jokes A lot of things look different to me Ever since I woke A lot of things look different to me Ever since I woke Tom, thank you for the great honor of your friendship and the chance to write songs together and for all your wonderful songs, past, present, and future. Um, I'll end this, my part of this evening, with a song that uh, Tom and I wrote recently as a reminder to ourselves. And 
Tom asked that I be sure to include it, so. If you sat upon that sofa now till all the springs have sprung, watched so damn much football, heard so many anthems sung, started thinking all your strings are just about to come unstrung, you might be right. Start tonight, get a life, get your butt in gear, get out and hit the bricks. Get a life, start today, and stay away from politics. John Prine said, blow up your TV, try to get to know your wife. Rediscover that you love her, get a life. There's a tangled field of lazy bones you've got to get across. And you're about to make that lazy boy become your albatross. You've been sitting still too long, my friend, that's not a rash. That's moss, you know that's right. Start tonight, get a life. You're full grown, give your own damn butt a kick. Get a life. We're in clover, but it's over awful quick. A.P. Carter said we're gonna meet with darkness and with strife. So keep on the side that's sunny, get a life. But you can't be a rolling stone if you're not a rolling. The more things change, the more they stay the same. The world is making hay while you're out bowling. You'll never win if you don't get in the game. Get a life. Get outside, catch your stride, clear your head. Get a life. We'll have lots of time for loafing when we're dead. John Prine said, in spite of ourselves, we're the big door prize. We'll spite the noses off our faces. Get a life. We'll spite the noses off our faces. Get a life. Happy birthday, Tom. Thanks, y'all. Daniel Bowling, thanks for that, Daniel. I, I, I imagine uh, that uh, John Prine uh, might be uh, looking down and smiling at, uh, at that last song that you just did. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Kathy Matea is a Grammy Award winning uh, singer who has been honored as the Country Music Association's Female Vocalist of the Year. And uh, although she's had tremendous success as a country music hit maker, to me, on albums like Cole and Calling Me Home, she represents the very best in the Appalachian folk music tradition. Kathy recorded a video just for tonight's celebration. And uh, the song that uh, of Tom's that she's going to do is Whose Garden Was This? Uh, the song that Tom wrote for the very first Earth Day back in 1970. And given today's worldwide climate crisis, Whose Garden Was This? has turned out to be a very prophetic song. Here is Kathy Matea. Hi, this is Kathy Matea, and I'm excited to be here and honored to be asked and happy to be part of paying tribute to our friend Tom tonight. Um, this is a song of Tom's I've loved for a long time, and I keep playing it in my living room and looking for an opportunity when I can put it on a, on a record or um, find its rightful home. And so it's one of those ones that I, it's one of those songs that, uh, that I secretly love and play for pleasure and keep squirreled away for some unknown future date and uh, I I just say um, I think one of the marks of a really really well written song is that it can be written in one time and it stays relevant over years and years and uh, that's true for this one um, I also think that it's it's not heavy handed to me this song it makes its point in a very soft and um from the inside out way which is also i think a very you know the mark of a great songwriter all right here we go whose garden was this it must have been lovely did it have flowers i've seen pictures of 
today too going back and just listening to Tom sing that live right not too long after it had been written and I was thinking about um, what song might be a nice accompaniment to, to that one and I realized I I have another song about gardens and uh, I found this song by accident and I've been closing my shows with it this year this was written by Lucas Nelson who is Willie Nelson's son and a wonderful songwriter and band leader performer in his own right and um, anyway, I thought this might be kind of a, a nice accompaniment to, to Tom's song.
you all for having me. Love you, Tom. Happy New Year. Yeah, what a what a beautiful two songs. And uh, thanks for being with us. We hope you'll be back again soon. Well, Happy New Year, as Kathy said. And uh, you know, today's New Year's Day, so I'm assuming all of you have made your resolutions. Well, I hope one of those resolutions will be to be with us on the first Sunday of every month. Now, normally we do the Greenwich Village Folk Festival at 8 p.m. on the first Sunday. In February, we're doing it a little bit earlier. It's going to be a 3 o'clock show, and we'll tell you more about that a little bit later on. But mark your calendars, the first Sunday of every month. We want to see you here. Uh, and again, thanks to everybody who's been donating to our tip jar. Thank you. you you're the people that keep this going every month. And uh, if you can, you'll probably see the, the link in the YouTube or the Facebook. Look down there in that corner. You'll see the link where you can donate. Or just go to GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org, and you'll see the donate button there as well. Well, I am really excited that this next group could be with us tonight. They are a six-piece band based out of Pittsburgh, and since their debut album came out in 2018, they've been gaining fans and attention all across the country. Now, they also caught the attention of Tom Paxton, and he's been writing some songs with the group. Uh, in November, this group released a new album. It's called Again, Again, Again. Did I get all that? Three guns. Yes, again, again, again. <laughs> and, uh, it's been appearing on a number of top 40 adult contemporary charts. Also in 2022, they hit number one on the folk DJ charts with a single of Tom Paxton's song, I Give You the Morning. And that song appeared on an EP that they released last year called Rabbit, which featured some of the uh, songs that they have been co-writing with Tom. Now, in describing the group, Tom said... How can a band be loose and tight at the same time? Listen to Buffalo Rose for the answer. I flat out love them. Well, so do I, and I'm sure you will too. Please welcome Buffalo Rose. Thank you. Greetings from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, everybody, and Happy New Year. We are Buffalo Rose, uh, and we're going to start you off with... Uh, I Give You the Morning by Tom Paxton. Uh, Tom introduced himself to us, uh, I think in 2020, uh, when we were all in lockdown, and he very generously allowed us to record our version of this song, and he actually recorded uh, new vocals uh, for one of his verses. So if you want to hear him doing his take on our take of his song, uh, you can listen to it uh, on an EP that we put out in the spring called Rabbit named after his song, Jennifer's Rabbit. Uh, we're going to play you I Give You the Morning. Ever again the morning creeps across your shoulder Frosted window pane, the sun grows bolder. Your hair flows down your pillow, you're still sleepy. I think I'll wake you now and hold you, tell you again the things I told you. Behold, I give you the morning. Oh 
ballroom fan, your eyelids flutter. Sunlight streams across your eye through open shutters. Now I think you're ready. So we're going to squeeze one in. Uh, <laughs> this is a song that we wrote with Tom. Uh, we've been writing with Tom now since we were introduced in sometime in late 2020. Uh, we write every week together. and We're looking forward to this week, Tom. We'll see you there. <laughs> uh, and this is a little tune that, uh, that Shane here came up with called Green Light. Called him my last man. She lives in Monterey, bound two or three miles from the California coastline. Now I had a lot to say, but she stopped me about halfway. Said, "Baby, you're a joke, but I could be a punchline." Salvation is a waiting net. Moses is a green light. Now we had a half a tank. The last of the stash we drank. Gonna need to slow it down. But I think we're gonna be alright. Alright. Oh, cause salvation is a waiting net. Moses is a green light. Oh, I said I'm sick of waiting here on the stage. She said it's closer than it looks in the mirror. You can calm yourself, children. The spirit is a will, and in this life, there's nothing to the California coastline. I didn't have much to say, say. but I brought back my line of May. She said I got another joke, but I'll save it for the next time. Oh, cause salvation is a waiting net. Moses is a green light. Salvation is a wedding and Moses is a green light. <laughs> of course, Buffalo Rose. Uh, I, I was first introduced to Buffalo Rose through that uh, Rabbit EP with uh, with Tom Paxton, and uh, tonight was the the first time that I actually get to watch them perform, uh, and uh, they truly are delightful. <laughs> Moving forward, uh, for a bunch of years in the 1990s and 2000s, I hosted songwriters workshops at folk festivals that featured some of the most remarkable songwriters of our time. 
Tom Paxton, for example, was in one that I did at the Champlain Valley Folk Festival in Vermont in 2001. In 2002, my songwriter's workshop at the Ottawa Folk Festival included Cliff Eberhardt. Cliff struck me then as a writer and performer that I really needed to listen closely to. Cliff has developed his skills as a songwriter over many decades, has a number of fine albums to his credit, and has been a backup guitarist for the late Richie Havens. Here is Cliff Eberhardt. Well, hey, Tom. Um, I've known you, I just figured out today I've known you for 45 years. And we've been friends, and every summer I get the joy of teaching with Tom at Swananoa for a week. He's one of my favorite people and a great mentor. But the first time I ever heard you, Tom, was at the Main Point in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, in 1968. And you were doing uh, Mor the Morning Again tour. And so many great songs on that album, like Jimmy Newman and Morning Again, Clarissa Jones. Um, but this song I heard, and it changed my whole perspective on songwriting. For one, it was the first time I ever heard anybody use a minor four, so... Victoria dines alone, she skips the potatoes. Victoria begins her meal with greens and tomatoes. Reading the newspaper carefully folded beside her. Folding her coat by her table and letting it hide her. Victoria dines alone, her dress is old-fashioned. Victoria watches her wait, each meal is a ration. Victoria's house will be taken, the news of the student disorders. Parsnips with butters and armies patrolling their borders. Victoria's feet are tired, she wants to go home. She orders her coffee with cream and drinks alone. Victoria dines alone with Hollywood fables. The waiters are counting their time and polishing tables. Victoria's reading of strong astrological forces Cheesecake with coffee and columns of Reno divorces Victoria's feet are tired, she wants to go home She orders her coffee with cream and drinks it alone Victoria dines alone, she skips the potatoes. Victoria begins her meal with greens and tomatoes. Reading the newspaper carefully folded beside her. Hanging her coat by her table and letting it hide her. Well, another person that was a big mentor and a traveling buddy for 30 or 40 years and one of my dearest friends and one of my favorite unselfish people that ever walked the planet, his birthday is tomorrow. And she's here tonight and I'm wishing you all the love and all the happiness that I could bestow on you on your birthday, Christine Lavin. But you didn't know. A 
I left my passport back in customs. I left my hat upon the rack. I left my phone in my hotel room. And it's never coming back. And all my things belong to others. There's no such race as lost and fine. I'm getting sentimental for all the things I left behind. She was as beautiful as morning. She was sharper than a knife. She vowed she would be faithful, though we were never man and wife. She always stood beside me. She never was unkind. Now someone else is making love to all the things I left behind. Francisco, just like all the rest, now did you look before you left, I wish there was a sign, now I'm making my apologies to all the things I left behind, we all want a second look, for all the things we left behind. I love you, Tom. Cliff Eberhardt, thank you so much, Cliff. Uh, Tim Grimm uh, is is coming up next, and he'll be uh, accompanied by Nate Borofsky, formerly of uh, the group Girly Man. As a folk music radio host, I've played a lot of uh, Tim Grimm's excellent recordings over the past couple of decades. But even before most of us had heard of Tim Grimm, the folk singer, Tim had a significant career as a stage, television, and film actor, which has taken a backseat to music since uh, Tim and his family left Los Angeles to return home to rural Indiana in the late 1990s. Oh. While most of Tim's albums have focused on his own songs, he's also recorded a wonderful album of a dozen Tom Paxton songs. Here is Tim Grimm. <laughs> before, a little after, it's not where you go, it's not where you've been, it's in the breath that you are holding, it's in the little in between, it's as you lift the brush, and as you lift the hammer, there's a little space in time between before and after it's the toe that touches water as the people starts to scream it's that penny in your pocket that started you to dream a little before a little after it's not where you're going not where you've been it's in the breath that you are it's in the little in between. My mother came from Illinois. My father came from Indiana. They met on a bluff high above the Ohio River. One of them smiled. One of them saw. One of them reached. 
reached very far. It was the flight the keepers had lived before. A little after, it's a little before. A little after, not where you're going, not where you've been. It's in the breath that you are holding. It's in the little. like no other between salvation and being torn asunder it's in between the tears and laughter it's a little before a little after a little before a little after not where you're going it's not where you've been it's in the breath that you are holding. It's in the little in between. It's in the little in between. Hey, it's great to be here and celebrate. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday, Tom. We are in. In honor of Tom, we decided, we knew that Tom went to school in Oklahoma, went to the University of Oklahoma, Oklahoma University, in Norman, Oklahoma. So Nate and I have traveled from the East Coast and the Midwest. We are in Norman, Oklahoma right now, doing our songs to celebrate this lovely night. That's a new song we just did, uh, The Little In Between, off a record that will come out in March. Uh, so look for that. We're going to do one more from that album and then we're gonna do a Tom Paxton so it's great to have you tonight Nate thank you Tim yeah. great to be here I don't know this place. I can't feel the sunshine when it's shining on my face. And I don't know these people who won't look me in the eye. They used to tell their stories, now they say it's only lies. And I can't see the colors that go swirling through this world. They used to walk a straight line, now it's only twists and turns. There's no one there tonight inside a house, it was a home. And I went driving through the night to be alone. Thought I knew the road ahead, but I missed the curve and went off. Now I'm headed for the grave unknown. A little drop of poison can go a long, long way. You walk the streets in bare feet, broken glass, the rusty nails. And the streets for you are covered in barbed wire. And the tongue that held your secrets is angry and on fire. And everyone is compromised. Everything is too. The same can never be again. It's only me and you. There's no one there tonight inside a house that was a home. And I went driving to the night to be alone. Thought I knew the road ahead, 
head, but I missed the curve and went off instead. And now I'm headed for the great All our hearts are broken Almost every other day Sometimes we just embrace it. Sometimes we drive away Sometimes the wheels, they hold the road Sometimes they just break free Sometimes we bleed together in perfect harmony Sometimes we sit in silence Sometimes we walk the floor Sometimes we wander in the pines And shiver to the core There's no one there tonight inside our house There was a home And I went driving through the night To be alone Thought I knew the road ahead But I missed the curve and went off instead Now I'm headed for the great I don't know this world I don't know this place I can't feel the sunshine when it's shining on my face Thank you so much Yes, as Mike mentioned, I guess it's been about a dozen years ago I made a tribute album to Tom Paxton and uh, called it Thank You, Tom Paxton. And Tom Paxton sent me a beautiful note after he heard it to thank you, Tim Grimm. So ever since then, he came and played a festival that I ran in Indiana and we run into each other on occasion. Not nearly enough. So we're going to end with... Uh, one of the songs we recorded back then, one of those many songs that I grew up hearing. We're going to do a strange thing in Zoom land. We're going to be basically in tune. <laughs> we're going to try. I threw you a curve on that last one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that capo, it just moves around. I know, it does. Right? It's, it's fine. Not to blow the breeze to blow, tell the rain not to fall, tree to grow, tell the high summer sky to lose its blue. But don't tell me I don't belong here. You could send me away, and I would go. I would go, but I would not go too far. You could send me home, but you would know. You would know that home to me is anywhere you are. There are those that never really know their minds. They're confused and they're not the same kind. They don't know what they're really looking for. I don't suffer from that problem anymore. You could send me away, and I would go. I would go, but I would not go too far. You could send me home, but you wouldn't know. You would know that. Anywhere you are. When I met you, there was nothing to 
to decide It was simply something happening inside I felt strange for a minute Then I knew That I finally felt complete When I found You could send me away And I would go I would go, but I would not go too far. You could send me home, but you would know. You would know that home to me is anywhere you are. You could send me home, but you would know. You would know that home to me is anywhere. Thanks, everybody. Happy birthday, Tom. Thank you, Tim Grimm. That was a lovely set. And uh, we want to thank everybody who's been watching tonight. I, I've been looking at some of the comments people are making in YouTube, and I, I see a lot of people remembering the first time they, they heard Tom Paxton and discovering his music. And now tonight they're discovering many new artists, uh, which is what this is uh, all about. Uh, the, this monthly Greenwich Village Folk Festival brings you this, some of the fine names that we've all grown up with and uh, continue to carry on the tradition. And again, I want to thank everybody who's been donating our tip jar. The uh, information is in the chat columns in both YouTube and Facebook. And you can go to uh, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org uh, to help keep this wonderful monthly event going and also to support these artists. Uh, the, the money that is raised is, is divided between the performers and the operational costs that, that keep this event going. Well, we now have another video greeting from one of Tom's friends and also one of our community's most respected and beloved artists. She's been combining her creative skills with music and activism for over 50 years and she has 31 albums to her credits, and her work has celebrated the human spirit, fighting for social change, working as an ambassador for peace, and she continues to inspire generations. Here's a special video greeting from Holly Near. It's a lesson too late for the learning, made of sand made of sand in a wink of an eye my soul is turning in your hand in your hand such a great song tom thank you for the trail of creativity that you have left and continue to leave for all of us i'm i'm so glad that our paths have crossed i found a poster from an event that we did at sanders theater Cambridge, February 1988. It was a, an event that was to inspire Harvard to divest from its investments in South Africa. And it went on for two nights. It was you and me, Pete Seeker, the Good News Gospel Ensemble, the Persuasions, Rod McDonald, Jane Sapp, Josh White, Cy Khan, Tony Bird, John McCutcheon, Deborah Silverstein, Mimi Farina, on and on. It was an amazing find to come across this poster. Well, I've had some health challenges this year, as you can see, broken bones, cancer, cancer hair, a small stroke, but I'm still standing, and it's wonderful to be in your company. I am open, and I am willing for to be hopeless. Would seem so strange. It dishonors those who go before us. So lift me up to the light of change. There is a hurting in my family, and there is sorrow. In my town, there is a panic all across the nation, and there is a wailing the whole world round. But I am open, and I am willing for to be hopeless. 
us would seem so strange. It dishonors those who go before us. So lift me up to the light of change. May the children see more clearly and may the elders be more wise. May the winds of change caress us even though they burn our eyes. But I am open and I am willing for to be hopeless would seem so strange. It dishonors those who go before us. So lift me up to the light of change. Big love to you, Tom. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you, Holly Near, for sending that beautiful video. And uh, I think I speak for everybody here. We, we all send you our best wishes, our love and healing thoughts and a uh, wonderful 2023 for you. Uh, we, we, hope, uh, we hope you'll be back and with us very soon. Well, uh, before we continue, I do want to take a moment to thank a couple of people who are responsible for tonight. Um, first of all, our producers, uh, Ray Misick and Rod McDonald, and also Noel Paul Stuckey, who uh, put together this uh, wonderful event for their friend uh, Tom Paxton. And this night would not be possible without two very special people, Greg Greenway and Brian Dozer, who are doing a, an incredible job uh, juggling everything tonight. Now, normally, yeah, let's give them a round of applause here. Uh, normally, our festival has about 10 people, but this month we've got more because everybody loves Tom Paxton and there's a lot of videos. So they're doing a lot. So uh, thank them for their, their great job. Well. By popular demand, our next guest has appeared on the Greenwich Village Folk Festival several times. And tonight's tribute to Tom Paxton would not be complete without a visit from this acclaimed artist. In 2022, he released his 43rd album, a project called Leap, which has been very popular on folk radio across North America. I should know. I have been playing the heck out of it. Uh, the album reached number one on the folk DJ charts. And John has been co-writing with Tom, and I'm, I'm actually beginning to wonder if Tom ever sleeps. Uh, he's worked with so many people. Well, anyway, uh, Tom and John are planning on going into the studio in February, and their plans are to release a new project this fall. It's always a treat to have him with us. Please welcome John McCutcheon. Hi. <laughs> It's a treat to be here with so many of my friends and especially to be bookended by two of my dearest friends, Holly Neer and Tom Chapin. But nothing gives me greater pleasure than to be here with my dear, dear friend, uh, Tom Paxton. Um, I have never written with anyone that it's so easy to write with. He's a total pro and uh, uh, we write for an hour every week. Uh, well, actually, we write for about 15 minutes every week. Most of the time, we sp spend talking about sports and telling jokes and uh, catching up with one another. And one of the things I love about writing with Tom is that he's from um, Oklahoma. And that whole Western perspective is something that is new to this kid who grew up in Wisconsin and has lived most of his life's life in Appalachia. So here's one of my favorites called This Campfire. Welcome round this fire, come on we're making room Take a seat beside me, I hope you have a tune We're passing round this bottle and this beat up old guitar Everything sounds better beneath this prairie star
Tell us where you come from. Tell us where you've been. Tell us if you ever plan to pass this way again. Doesn't even matter if it's factual or it's even true. Just give us a good story. You know that'll do. Sing us a song you've known forever. A story we've heard again and again. It takes more than a fire to keep a body warm. Tell us, take us back to where you can remember when. Over there's a guy named Utah. He'll sing songs about Joe Hill. And when Rosie sings, she'll tear your heart out. Always has and always will. Oh, we only sing the songs we love. It's always what we do. This guitar will make its way around until it gets to you. And then sing us a song you've known forever. A story we've heard again and again. It takes more than a fire to keep a body warm. Take us back to where you can't remember when. So sing us something funny, sing us something sad. Tell us all about the good times and all the hard luck that you had. Nights out on the prairie, here lost and all alone. But you know around this campfire, you finally made it home. So sing us a song you've known forever. A story we've heard again and again. Oh, it takes more than a fire to keep a body warm. Take us back to where you can. Remember when? Yes, it takes more than a fire to keep a body warm. Take us back to where you can. Remember when? Beautiful song, Tom. Um, this, this, Tom and I have been writing for, for about two years now, every Monday afternoon, and this is one of the early ones we wrote, and I just, I just really love this song. It's called Letters from Joe. I was at my brother Charlie's house, helping like you do, taking out a bedroom wall, making one room out of two. Charlie had to go to work, left me here again. When there among the studs, I found a small box made of tin. Inside there were some letters tied in a silver bow. They each began, my darling, and were signed, I love you, Joe. The paper G I issue but the penmanship sublime, I found myself transported to another place and time. The letter started in 43 when he shipped overseas. They reached here nearly every day, but they stopped in Normandy. You're with me all the time, he wrote. I miss you every night. It's you that gives me courage when I rush into the fight. I have to stop for now, though. It's just too dark to write. I'll pick it up tomorrow when I've got some better light. I'm writing after breakfast now. We're moving out at nine. I'll write some more this evening. But this was his final line. And I thought of all the letters that never made it home. 
and those who waited for them, who lived their lives alone, who gathered up their memories and all they could recall, to tie them in a silver bowl and drop them in a wall. And I wonder who his darling was, and if she's still alive. I hold these precious pages here that clearly did survive. And somewhere neath the soil of France, neath crosses in a row, waiting for reunion, lies a boy named Joe. Letters from Joe. And, and I have one more. This is one that Tom and I wrote um, this last Monday. I came with, uh, with the notion that um, I wanted to write this, and I didn't exactly know how to do it, and, and Tom and I somehow find a way. I'm from the state of Georgia, so I think I have the right to speak about that loud mouth always itching for a fight. I usually refrain from an outright name and names, but you all know exactly who I mean. Talking about Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's got the hots for poop. She's too old for Matt Gates. She's crazy for the autocrats. It's democracy she hates. Listening to her Railing makes me long for Sarah Palin. She's loud, she's crazy, and she's mean. Talk about Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green. And then there's those Jewish space lasers. Even Netanyahu said, come on. Though it never even seemed to face her, she's the queen. Of Q and on. When she speaks, it's a little bit like napalm. It burns, it sticks, it will not go away. When she defends the capital insurrection, where we used to call that treason in our day. With democracy she itself she's disaffected, even though it's how she even got elected. I hope the CDC comes up with a vaccine for Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green. That's for you, Marjorie. Tom, uh, it is uh, an honor and a joy to write with you. You have been uh, a North Star in my life and in the life of the folk revival in all of the world. And it is... Um, uh, you, you're my hero because I realize that even at 85, I can still be more creative than at any time in my life. I love you. You know that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Happy birthday, buddy. John McCutcheon. Uh, John, uh, I'm really looking forward to that uh, that album with, uh, with Tom that you're going to put out in the fall. Uh, just before I move on uh, to our next performer, John, I I was coming out of uh, your showcase at the Folk Alliance Conference in uh, Kansas City in I think it was 2017, and uh, you had just performed a set, and as I was coming out the door, uh, I ran into Tom Paxton, who was also coming out the door, and Tom leaned over to me and said, that set was as good as it gets, and it was, and you are, and he is, and... Uh, I am so thankful to be part of this program with, with all of you, and also with Tom Chapin, who is our next performer. Uh, Tom is a wonderful Grammy award-winning singer and songwriter for both kids and adults. 
He began performing in the early 1960s as a member of the Chapin Brothers, a band that also included his brothers Harry and Steve. In a very distinguished career, Tom has recorded many albums, performed countless concerts, and was a host of a, the Make-A-Wish uh, TV program for children, an Emmy and Peabody award-winning show. Tom is a social activist who has supported a number of important causes, including Why Hunger, formerly World Hunger Year, which was co-founded by Harry Chapin, Tom's late brother. Here is Tom Chapin. Thanks so much. What a, what a night this is. Hey, John McCutcheon following John, John McCutcheon was my opening act. <laughs> How much fun. Uh, this whole evening has been uh, uh, not only a celebration of Tom Paxton, but a celebration of collaboration. You know, how many times, uh, the, of course, we all know how wonderful, what a wonderful writer Tom is by himself, but the collaborations have been really fun to listen to. Um, I'm going to do three songs that are collaborations. Here's one that I did with my great friend, uh, John Forster. <laughs> The news abounds with scoundrels doing wrong, which impels us to take action, which is really, really strong, like expressing our displeasure in the lyric of a song, preferably a sing-along. There is a name for what we're doing, broadside is the term, a tough melodic weapon full of values we affirm. Just load her up and let her rip and watch the wicked squirm as everybody sings along. Broadside, broadside, they cannot ignore us. They may run, but they can't hide. We'll out them with a verse and rout them with a chorus of a broad, broadside. We're ruled by corporation, conglomerate, and bank. Congress is in gridlock, the courts are in the tank. If we get out of this alive, it's us you'll have to thank for asking you to sing along. It was Pete and it was Woody who pioneered it all. They taught Tom and Phil and Mary and Peter and Paul. But the times there are changing and the writing on the wall says everybody sing along. Broadside, broadside, they cannot ignore us. They may run, but they can't hide. We'll out them with the verse and route them with the chorus of a broad, broadside. Feel the power of the right notes and the right quotes combine. Feel the power of the right song to open up your heart and Mind. Now you may think a sing-along is just a silly game, and believing it can change the world is really kind of lame, but we shall overcome, finally overcame, cause everybody sang along. Broadside, broadside, they cannot ignore us, they may run, but they Feels a little bit like Tom Paxton, doesn't it? You know, it even mentions him. And here's a song written by another great friend of mine, a collaborator with a lot of folks, including John McCutcheon, notably, the great Cy Khan. And uh, he started this song. He, he comes uh, to New York once in a while. He says, I'm going to be in New York for a few days. You want to get together? And we get together and we start five or six songs. And he says, OK, you finish them. And, uh, and and so I do, and I finally finished this one. And it, this is uh, these are both on my new album, which is called uh, "Hold Our Ground," also a song written by him. But I thought I'd play this because it sort of feels like uh, fits in the world tonight. Well, I dreamt I was. 
was at the crossroad, harsh wind at my back. Thought I saw the man himself come rambling down the track. Hard times at his shoulders, a worn case in his hand. Woody Guthrie stopped and said to me, I just don't understand. He said, I thought I'd seen the worst of times, folks scratching in the dirt. My long unemployment lines, millions out of work. All those hungry women, all those desperate men. I guess history runs in circles, cause it's coming round again. In the middle of the night, I lay there in between. Half asleep and half awake, caught up in Woody's dream. In the middle of the night, I found out what it means to hitch a ride on Woody Guthrie's dream. When I asked him what he dreamed about, he shook his head and smiled. A decent job for everyone, a home for every child, food for every family, a roof for every head. Ain't that what you dream about? He looked at me and said, When they're fracking in your backyard and poison in your street, and in some ancient forest you can hear a chainsaw scream, when fire and flood and hurricane are tearing at the seams, don't despair, oh, it is said, get up and live your County, and for years I lived in Piermont, New York, which has one of the great folk clubs in the country. It's 46, 47 years has gone. It's called The Turning Point. And uh, one night I went to see one of my heroes uh, toward the end of his life, and a great friend of Tom Paxton's, Bob Gibson, one of the semi-forgotten members of the early folk days who inspired so many people, who really was important in the, in the and the Chapin Brothers, we had a couple of their records. I think the, the Bob Gibson and Bob Camp album was the first million selling uh, folk record ever. Anyway, I, I always loved them and never got a chance to see Bob Gibson, even though we knew had all his records. And he came and uh, played at the, at the Turning Point, and it was really a wonderful show. And he played a song I just loved. Afterwards, I went back and say hello, and he, he said, yeah, you know, I'm, I don't have a place to stay tonight. Uh, I don't have a hotel. I said, well, stay with us. But, and, and then, okay, I'll, all right, and then we worked, I said, but wait a minute. 
you can stay with us if you teach me the chords to end loving you that song so we said, oh, okay so in breakfast after we our breakfast we sat down and it's not a song kind of song you usually hear on the banjo and the lyric is by or at least collaborated with Tom Paxton it's one of my favorite songs that cold Chicago wind came howling down the street the rain has turned to sleep to snow it's overdue Twas on a night like this you blew in through my door I asked for kindness and you gave me that and more You taught me how to do the things that lovers do like coming through and loving you I got my banjo too now I lost the band I must have missed a turn I'll never learn it seems my music is my dreams it's what I do you took it mm -hmm. you didn't work till four that afternoon nah. you took a stranger to an unfamiliar shore he asked for kindness and you gave him that and up the lyrics let me get this verse right I got my banjo too but now I lost the band I must have missed a turn
taught me how to do the things that lovers do, like coming through and loving you, like coming through and loving you, like coming through. Loving you. Thanks so much, Tom. Sorry to mess up your lyric a little bit, but we got through it. And thanks so much for being an, an amazing uh, inspiration to so many people and uh, celebrated by so many tonight. Uh, support. And one of the things that's been amazing for me is just the support you've given to folks who just came up behind. I, I did a number of dates with, uh, with Janice in this year, and she talked about and when you were 13, that how, how welcoming you were. It's always been not me, but we with you. Not uh, a competition, but a brother and sisterhood. Thanks so much. So pleased to be here tonight. Just feel proud to be with all my friends You're celebrating your birthday. Long may you wave. Thank you, Tom. That was beautiful words and uh, so, so true. Thank you for being here. And uh, I hope our friends who are listening tonight will, will check out your website, TomChapin.com. I noticed uh, you're doing the Snowbird Tour. You're going to be doing some shows in Florida at the end of January and in Arizona in February. Way, way to miss the uh, Northeast winters. <laughs> uh, and also that wonderful new album of yours as well. So thank, thanks again for being here. And, you know, Tom brought up a number of, of names uh, from decades ago, music and artists that we all grew up with and inspired by. And the, the music that Tom Paxton has gifted us with, with for decades uh, grew out of the folk revival movement of the 1960s. Uh, Tom was a clerk at, in a clerk typist school at Fort Dix here in New Jersey when he began writing songs and traveling to Greenwich Village on weekends. The village, of course, was the epicenter for folk music and home for a, a new generation of musicians, many who continue to influence and inspire young artists to this day. Now, one such individual is our next guest. Back in 1961, Peter was having a discussion with the late music empresario Albert Grossman about an idea that Albert had for a new group that would carry on the tradition started by the Weavers back in the 50s. And that conversation led Peter to become part of a trio that would become part of the fabric of not just the musical soundtrack of that era, but also part of the social consciousness of a generation from the early days when it all wasn't always popular for artists to do so. Peter has been an activist for social and political causes. You'd find him and the trio at numerous demonstrations, protesting the war, fighting for civil rights, in 1969, he helped organize the March on Washington, and he continues to fight for social justice, and he continues to make his voice heard. Now, Peter's with us live tonight, but before we get to him, he created a little video to, to honor his great friend. So let's take a look at that now, and welcome Peter Yarrow. Mom is taking us to the zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Mom is taking us to the zoo tomorrow. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you? You, you, you can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See the elephant with his long trunk swinging. Great big ears in his long trunk. <laughs> Send up pick up the penis with his long trunk swinging. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, 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 you can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See the big bear, he's a huff, 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 and coats too heavy, huff, 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 and don't get too near the huff, huff, 
poppin Or you won't stay all day We're going to the zoo, zoo, doodly do How about you, 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 doodly do You can come to, 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 to We're going to the zoo, zoo, all the, the, the ducks there quack, quack, quacking Great big ducks there Honk, honk, honking Little tiny seals, seals, ducks there Honk, honk, honk We can stay all day We're going to zoo, zoo How about you, you, you You can come to, 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 to We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo I see all the monkeys scritch, scritch, scratching, hanging by the long tail, scritch, scritch, scratching, scratching in the scratching in the. We can say all day we go to the zoo, 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 doodly do. How about you, 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 doodly do? You can come to, to, do, to, do, do, do. We're going to the zoo, 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 doodly do. See the giraffe, he's not talk, talking, talking. Yeah, but it's okay, cause he's walk, walk, walking. And we're just standing here and gawk, gawk, gawking. <laughs> we can stay all day, we go and do the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, 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 do, 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 Stay all day and I'm been sleepy, sleeping in the car. Sleep, sleep, sleepy. Oh, sleep, sleep, sleepy. We can. We've stayed all day. We've been to the zoo. <laughs> so have you. You came to, 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 we've been to the mommy second us to the zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow, mommy second us to the zoo tomorrow, we can stay all day, we're going to the zoo, 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 how about you, you doodly do, you can come to, 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 we're going to the zoo, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tom, oh my goodness. That was one of your very early ones that Peter Paul and I recorded. Loved. I'm just reminiscing about uh, when you and Noel were rooming together in that. It, it was... It was it was a loft. I mean, in today's world, you know, it's a serious loft. It was no little cubicle. And uh, that's where we met when Peter Paul met and first played in that loft. Hey. <sighs> Love you. Well, Tomas, I just saw you yawning. <laughs> Knocked the You yawned first, and then I yawned in the video, <laughs> and you yawned back at me. Can you hear? Are you, folks? Yes, you can. Tell uh, Noel, shake your head, yes or no. Okay, you can hear. This over here. This is Bethany. Looking. Uh, Hello to everybody. Very much like Bethany. Hi, Chris, Christine, and Eric. Tom. I can't believe you're so active writing with all these people. It's very, very... Everybody's spoken about it, but I'm I'm blown away. And uh, so I was thinking about what we should do together. And I think the song that we'd like to do is a song that's kind of uh, part of our mutual search and history. So it was a tribute to you and Noel. You can join in, except you won't be in and sing. But <laughs> we did it the other night and it worked. All right. Anyhow, it's called the River of Jordan. I wrote it in 1970, 
and Tom, you are a monster. <laughs> Do you know what a monster was? Everybody, the monster meant when you had a big, big hit. It was called the monster. You're larger than life. I traveled the banks of the river of Jordan to find where it flows to the sea. And I looked in the eyes of the cold and the hungry and I saw that I was looking at me. And I wanted to know if life had a purpose and what it all means in the end. And in the silence I listened to voices inside me, and they told me again and again. There is only one river, there is only one sea, and it flows through you. Every drop in the sea Every cry of a newborn baby Every prayer to be free Every hope at the end of a rainbow Every song ever sung Is a part of the family of woman and man And that means everyone We are only one river We are only one sea Peter and Bethany Yarrow. Peter, that song has been a favorite of mine for many, many decades. 
Judy Collins, who's been uh, singing Tom Paxton songs for almost as long as Tom has been writing them, uh, had hoped to be here tonight. Unfortunately, she can't and uh, sent this uh, short note. I am still sick and feel god-awful. I'm going to have to pass on tonight. I'm so sorry. Please give Tom my best love and tell him I'll be in touch soon. Love and Happy New Year, Judy Collins. Oh, it's too bad Judy couldn't be here tonight. But Judy, if you're watching this, you have an open invitation. So we hope to see you here real soon. And please feel better. Um, we, we, we all miss you. Well, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we are, we're having an incredible night. And again, I want to thank everyone who's been donating to our tip jar. Uh, your response is really what keeps this going month after month. Now, for those of you who are new to this festival, we do it on the first Sunday of the month. Uh, the Greenwich Village Folk Festival started out as an in-person event back in the 1980s. After a couple of years, it went on hiatus, returned during the pandemic to this monthly live broadcast, and the response has been wonderful. Uh, you folks have been supporting us through the tip jar, and uh, we're going to keep going. As long as you want the music, we'll be here for you. So again, the, you can find the tip jar information by looking in the chat feature in YouTube or Facebook, however you're watching, or go to GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org. And again, we thank you so much for your support. Well, we've heard from Peter Yarrow, and now it's my honor to introduce another member of the famous trio of Peter, Paul, and Mary. And like Peter, Noel Paul Stuckey has combined activism and music as part of his life's work. In 2000, with his daughter Elizabeth, Noel founded the nonprofit organization Music for Life, which works with artists to continue the tradition of using music to educate, recruit, and mobilize. And of course, he continues to create his own powerful music. And I want to put in a plug for an album that he released in 22. It was called Thaz, Now and Then. It combines his artistry with jazz and folk music. Noel is also a co-producer and of tonight's tribute to Tom Paxton. He's also Tom's former roommate, from what I understand. And it's an honor to welcome him here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Noel Paul Stuckey. Hey. Thank you, Tom. Um, I, I thank you, Ron. And hi, Rumi. <laughs> I bet you never thought that we would go through this. Right, separated by 3,000 miles, man. I mean, you got to be on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. And I'm thinking about those days in 629 East 5th Street in the fifth flight walk-up. The hallways that smelled like the men's room at Grand Central Station. And we, we made a go of it. Uh, the first, my first awareness of you as a songwriter, really, uh, was when you brought to me the song called Marvelous Toy. You'd written it on a typewriter at Fort Dix. <laughs> I, I was astounded that you could discipline, you, divorce yourself, in a sense, from your military service to contribute so much to the human race <laughs> with a children's song. And at the same time, I recall that Peter, as he mentioned in earlier, came over to the apartment. Mary and I and Peter sang Mary Had a Little Lamb because it was the only folk tune we could agree on the same lyrics because Golden Vanity and all those other ones had so many variations. Uh, but Peter became a regular at the apartment and we, we rehearsed a lot. And I, as I recall, the tune that you hated the most was Lemon Tree because we had working out guitar parts for Lemon Tree until it drove you bananas. So I thought tonight that I would try to escape Lemon Tree and do the song that I learned from you the first. Um, when I was just a wee little lad full of health and joy, my father homeward came one night and he gave to me a toy. A wonder to behold it was with many 
colors bright and the moment I laid eyes on it it became my heart's delight it went lemon tree very pretty and the lemon flower is oh it went zip when it moved and when it stopped and whirr, when it stood still and you give me credit for doing the sound effects, man, but I did, you know, what I used to do automobiles as sound effects and toilets. I mean, these sound effects just came so naturally. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never would. I love this verse. It marched for it. First marched left and then, then marched right and then marched under a chair. And when I looked where it had gone, it wasn't even there. I started to cry. <laughs> oh, but my daddy laughed because he knew that I would find when I turned around my marvelous toy would be chugging, 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 chugging from behind it. Well, lemon tree, very pretty. It went zip when it moved and when it stopped and whirr, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. Ah, oh, the years have gone by too quickly, it seems. I have my own little boy. And yesterday I gave to him my marvelous little toy. His eyes nearly popped right out of his head, and he gave a squeal of glee. Neither one of us knows just what it is. But he loves it just like me, it still goes. I'll spare you the reference to, <laughs> to lemon tree. A zip when it moves and when it stops and when it stands still. Everybody, I never knew just what it was and I guess I never will. All right, Tommy Cat. I mean, I mean... The span, the span of your creativity, Tom. I just, I never knew it at the time. I thought, all right, well, that's a cute children's song. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Peter and Mary and I did it eventually. And we did, that was the last thing on my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Amanda did it. And then 40 other people did it. And then I just, and then I started working with this children's group in Texas. And I said, Tom, you're the master of children's songs. Have you ever read the marvelous toy going to the zoo? Send me something. Send me something that's remedial, you know, for, for for kids that are having a rough time, a struggling time. And you sent me this song, and I said, you know what you just sent me, Tom? You sent me a rap song. So <laughs> I dropped your guitar part tore out the chords. I said, look what Tom Paxton gave Kid Lynx. <laughs> and this is what we got. I'm turning it over now to the guy who's going to push the button. It's either Mike Regan Street or it's Ronald Lesko. And thank you, Tom Rumi. You've been a gorgeous buddy of mine. I look forward to seeing you in 2023. So here's Tom Paxton's TV rap. a sandwich and to try to get some homework done. Uh, turn on the TV just for the company. There's somebody having fun. I guess I better look at the chapter in the book because the teacher says my work is due. Woo! Sure look pretty though, living on a video. Wonder what I have to do to make my life like television. Why don't families live that way? Hey, hey kids, hey. I'm well when you see them on the telly. They always have something clever to say like, oh, Good afternoon. No. Put this kid's head in the box. Sometimes I'm looking at the television and my mom and dad are out. Oh, oh, really oh. get moving. What's on the tube? Is that what life should be about? There's a papa who comes home every night and a mama who doesn't ever drink. Mm, they sit down and talk to each other and you know that kind of makes me think. Why, is life like Why don't families live that way? Hey, hey. Well, when you see them on the daily, they always have something clever to say like what? Over and 
you never see your life like mine. Why isn't life like television where everything turns out fine? <laughs> Kids sure look happy, they always got a smile in face. They're never in a sit, throw, fit, get hit. Everybody gets their own space. I sit and watch these kids for hours and try to solve the mystery. If my folks come home before I go to sleep tonight, maybe they'll explain to me. Why is it not that day? Why don't families live that way? Hey, kids are swell when you see them on the telly. They always have something clever to say, like what? Word. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was just beautiful. Well, uh, I know we're about to introduce the uh, the man of the hour, but before that, um, Mike Regenstreif, I, I, I hope you've enjoyed this night as much as I have. It's been absolutely wonderful, Ron, and I'm so thankful to, to you and to uh, Noel Stuckey and Rod McDonald and Ray Mysek uh, for inviting me. And by the way, Noel, it was I. I think it was Greg Greenway who was pushing that button, not Ron or myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I tell you, this night has certainly brought back uh, some great memories. Uh, I remember the first time I saw Tom uh, at the at the bitter end. It was actually Tom Paxton and Josh White Jr. And what a night that was! It's, it's still sticking in my memory. And all the names that have been coming up to, uh, throughout the evening, uh, the performers that we've been seeing, and some of the new artists that Tom has been working with, um, it's it's something about, I, I think Tom Chapin's brother Harry said in, in a song, it's all a circle, and it's continuing. And to see Tom helping out all these new artists as a mentor, um, it's just wonderful to see. I, uh, I I mentioned earlier that uh, the first time that I saw and met Tom Paxton was in 1969 when I was about 15 years old, and uh, that was a, a concert that uh, put me on a path that uh, has guided my my life for 54, 55 years since then. Uh, so Tom Paxton is as responsible as anyone for me. Uh, pursuing the the folk music life that I have over the years. A few years later, in 1972, I started to pre present folk music concerts in Montreal, and uh, I remember telling a newspaper reporter that my ambition was to present a Tom Paxton concert. <laughs> it took about 10 years, but I eventually got to produce a whole bunch of Tom Paxton concerts uh, over the years, and uh, uh, I'm happy to say that he became a good friend. He's a wonderful artist to work with. Uh, um, and uh, in introducing him, I just need to turn to the title of one of Tom's songs. Tom, thank you for the honor of your company. Please welcome Tom Paxton. I'm 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 stunned. Who wouldn't be? Uh, uh, my heart goes out to Holly. I love you, Holly. Hang in there, babe. Judy, I hope you feel better. I hope it's just the sniffles. Um, I'm so grateful to all of you for these wonderful, wonderful songs and the the joy that I'm getting out of writing so much. I I wish I had written this much, this heavily, my whole career, but I, I didn't. I had periods where I would uh, do nothing. Uh, and now, uh, since the COVID started, and I discovered Zoom, um, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's up, it's must be close to 300 songs by now. And, you know, one or two of them are pretty good. Uh, you, you, you shoot for, you shoot for an average, but 
I mean, the ones I've heard tonight, I, I really enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing a song in a minute that I wrote with Dan. Um, and I, I, I love the one, uh, I love the cornflakes and whiskey. Um, well, <laughs> that Jackson's right. He read down a list of, of thoughts that he had, you know, this, that, and the other. He said, cornflakes and whiskey. I said, what? Corn flakes and whiskey. Give me that. Give me that. And uh, and and uh, the the joy of writing a song. I, I wish more people could share that. Uh, I wish that I wish that people uh, listening tonight, watching tonight, would try one little experiment that I, I give them, and that is, uh, I, I do this regularly. Uh, Go through the paper and find something that moves you to any emotion at all. I mean, it can be scorn, it can be hilarity, it can be uh, pathos, whatever it is. Write a song from the perspective of either a participant in that story or an eyewitness. And one great thing this will do is get you out of yourself and into the world that's going on around you and make you a participant in it, a, a chronicler. Um, Woody did this uh, when he wrote the uh, Ludlow Massacre song. He, he, he wasn't there. He read it in the paper and he used his imagination to put himself on the firing line. And you can do it too. You can do it many times. And you might even do it with me. What the hell? All right. Uh, I'm going to sing you a couple songs now. One is uh, a solo uh, writing job. And usually we can tell uh, when we got the idea to, to write a song. It has a genesis. In it. Uh, this one I don't. I, I don't know when, when, it, when it came to me or when I... I know when I started to write it because it's all down on my notebook, but... But the genesis of it is a mystery to me. Anyhow, this is a, a little song called Underground Angel. She's down in the subway Singing Carter family music On a battered old Gibson guitar Wearing blue jeans and sweatshirt Worn out leather sandals, she is sweetly singing out to wildwood flowers. I will twine, I will mingle in a voice of spun silver. She sings to the bleak passers by. She's an underground angel with her mind in Kentucky. And her heart in the sweet by and by Far away across the wide blue mountains Some fine day I know I'm bound to ride Ride to castles and kings And bright painted rings Far away on the green Far away on the green mountainside She is down in the subway Singing Mama's favorite music Songs that came from the land across the sea now a dime, now a quarter In her guitar case will jangle As she sings of the lost Oralee And these songs from the cabin Echo here on the concrete And remind her of clear mountain sky She's an underground angel 
with her mind in Kentucky and her heart in the sweet by and by. Far away across these wide blue mountains, some fine day I know I'm bound to ride. Ride the castles and kings and bright painted rings far away on the green mountain side. Far away on the green mountain side. Far away mountain side um, a song I wrote with Dan Bolin must be a couple months ago now at least um, this is really uh, really Dan's Dan's song. It was his inspiration. Um, uh, no false modesty. I did my uh, share of digging on it. Uh, I'm in there all the way, but um, I think of this as Dan's song, and it's a it's a beautiful idea. <laughs> Red and I go way back to the start of the second grade. It was in the schoolyard where all the games were played. I was it and I tagged him and I guess I tagged too hard. He slugged me and there we were rolling around the yard. Somehow we got over that, I don't remember how. We became the best of friends, that's all that matters now. Red's the only one who's left from all my childhood friends. One by one they pass away, as every good thing ends. Old friends last forever. Old friends. Don't fade away. Red and I played baseball, sang tenor in the choir. Dated two Smith sisters, living high but aiming higher. We were like two brothers until that awful day. Draft board called a number. And the war took Red away. And Red came home from Vietnam, a completely different man. He'd seen things he didn't think I'd ever understand. For a couple of years it seemed we'd gone our separate ways. Till one tearful, beerful night. We remember better days, old friends, last forever. Old friends, don't fade away. Red's been slipping lately, we're not young men anymore. Memories seem sweeter. Than I ever did before. We're back there in the schoolyard. We both remember when. I touch him on the arm and whisper, Tag, you're it again. Old friends, last forever. Old friends, don't fade away.
Tom, this is Rod. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yes. Tom, it's uh, such an honor for us here at the Greenwich Village Folk Festival to have you with us tonight and to have a chance to all get together and show you how much you've meant to us and still do with uh, your uh, amazing inspiration to us all. Can I, can I ask you to do one more song for us? Sure. Is there one you'd like? You know, nobody sung Ramblin' Boy. I, Would that be a, okay for you? I remember it. I think you know that one. He was a man and a friend always Stuck with me in the hard old days Never cared if we had no dough Rambled around in the rain and snow and here's to you, my round boy. May all your ride bring you joy. Here's to you, my rambling boy. May all your ride bring you joy. In Tulsa town, we chance to Thought we tried to work one day. Boss said he had room for one. Said my old pal, we'd rather bomb. And here's to you, my rambling boy. May all your Bring you joy. Here's to you, my rambling boy. May all your rhymes bring you joy. Late one night in a jungle camp, the weather is. He got the chills and he got them back. They took the only friend I had. And here's to you, my rambling boy. May all your rambling bring you joy. Here's to you, my rambling He left me here to ramble on. My rambling pal is dead and gone. Even when we die, we go somewhere. I'll bet you a dollar he's rambling there. And here's to you, my rambling boy. May all your rhymes bring you joy. Here's you, my rambling boy. May all your rhymes bring you joy. Thank you, Tom. That was great. Wonderful. Oh, uh, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Tom. And uh, what, what a what a night this has been, Mike. You know, you been... I listening to listening to Tom Paxton. I was just remembering the first time that I heard the song "Ramblin' Boy" when I was a kid. It was on a live album by Pete Seeger, who introduced it by saying, "This is a song written by a young fellow named Tom Paxton." Yeah, and I think that was about sixty years ago. I think my first song was uh, was the Marvelous Toy, and it was probably Peter Paul and Mary singing it. I probably I didn't even know Tom Paxton that I was just a little kid. But uh, these are songs that stick with all of us. And and there were so many other artists that uh, 
could have been here tonight, and uh, we just wish we had room for everybody. But uh, can we? Um, can I? Can we? Tom, can you uh, join us for a minute here on the screen? Can Greg? Can you um, put Tom back on the screen with us a little bit? I don't know how that works. There Come we on. go. Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> By the way, Noel uh, alluded, almost alluded to uh, a true, true fact about the marvelous toy. When I sang it for him, it had different sounds. The, the original sounds were different. And he pointed out, he said, you know, I love the song. He said, but I think the sounds could be stronger. And so I went away and came back with, with the song, Sounds That Everybody Knows. But um, I, I've told him several times that I owe him for that, and he doesn't <laughs> remember it. The, conversation. <laughs> the check is in the mail, no doubt. <laughs> Not if he doesn't remember. <laughs> uh, well, it's 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 a fantastic song that's going to stay with us forever. And uh, I, I just want to take a moment to thank everybody that participated tonight. Uh, Chris Lowe. I, I want to interrupt one and, and say oh. one thing to Tom. Sure. Tom, do you remember the time in the apartment? Peter Yarrow and I are in the little bedroom section working on lemon tree. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. yeah the, and you're out there sitting on the stool, and all of a sudden, the stool falls apart. And you say, God, I, I've had it with the stool. And you break the whole thing apart and you, <laughs> into the round portion that you sit on, the four legs, the support mechanism. And, and you yell into Peter and I, and you say, stay there for just a minute. I got this thing. Quiet as a mouse. And Tom comes backing into our area holding the stool seat in front of him and one of the spokes. And he looks at us and he says, I'm not going in there, Harry. Those are real lions in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we all realize he's talking about the Coliseum. And you became, I don't know if you knew it, ever knew it, but for the next two or three years through the Kingston Trio, everywhere we went, Peter, Paul, and Mary turned the folk world onto Tom Paxton's run it. Those were yeah. called runnits, and we would just grab anything. Like I would grab this capo, you know, and I would say, "Well, doctor, what is this for?" Well, if you apply it correctly, <laughs> it could change your whole tune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just had to add that to Tom's lexicon. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to remember that one. Oh boy. We used to find a lot of Chinese restaurants with with <laughs> using the salt shakers as, as props. And, so and the scrunch hut. Who I'm sorry. The, the scrunch hut. Who could forget that at the corner of scrunch hut? Yes. Third Avenue and the whatever. Uh, the scrunch hut and never returned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for indulging us old timers and Tom. I really. It's, such a pleasure to be here with you, man. I look forward to 2023 exchanging some real hugs. You know, uh, Noel, thanks for all you did to get this show get, get together. Uh, yeah. You uh, you are the prime instigator here, and we appreciate uh, you so much. Uh, it was nothing. I'd welcome another chance to come on and sing one or two songs. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Has anybody recorded that cornflakes and whiskey song? Huh? Has anybody recorded the cornflake and whiskey song? Not yet. It's it's very new. Oh man, it's gonna it's gonna go big. <laughs> <laughs> that it's song. Uh, I think of Shel Silverstein when I think of that song because it it it, uh, it acts on a lot of his principles. Uh, <laughs> you know, a, of a punch is followed right away by more lyric. Um, uh, I loved. I mean, I haven't got the chords down yet to perform that song myself, but boy, I'm gonna. Well, listen, we 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 can continue this conversation. We're gonna have a little virtual backstage party. We've got a virtual deli tray coming up in a second, but uh, we're gonna have to say good night to all of our folks who are watching us 
And uh, before we do that, we want to thank everybody who's participated tonight. Uh, Chris Lowe, Kathy uh, uh, Fink and Marcy Markser, Jackson Emmer, um, Amanda McBroom, Eric Erickson, Janice and the Don Wands, Chris L Christine Lavin, Josh White Jr., Dan Bowling, Kathy Matea, Buffalo Rose, Tim Grimm, Holly Near, Cliff Eberhardt, John McCutcheon, Tom Chapin, Peter Yarrow, Judy Collins. Well, she, but, but, but she would have been here, but she at least gave us a wonderful message. And, of course, um, uh, Noel Stuckey and the one and only Tom Paxson. You know, I think backstage during our chat, Tom, uh, John McCutcheon said it yes. after you did your first song, uh, Tom, he wrote, and that's why he's Tom Paxton. And uh, we can't uh, thank you. We can't thank you enough for for everything that you've given us all these years. And we look forward to what the next uh, years are going to bring us. Uh, you obviously got some more great songs in, inside of you. <laughs> They're coming out. And uh, let me just say one final thing. All I ever wanted was a seat on a bus. And thank God I found one. Ah, uh, well, yeah, that's sweet, right? You've you've been driving that bus and you've led us in a great direction. So thank you so much for that. Well, uh, we're going to be back again in February on on Sunday, February the fifth, our, our next adventure here at the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. It'll start at 3 p.m. Eastern time, uh, a little earlier than usual. Uh, but among the performers, and we haven't got the full lineup yet, but Josh White Jr. will be back. He'll be feeling better, we're sure. Uh, Walter Parks, John Forster, Bob Boson. Steve Erickson, John Flynn, and the Mad Agnes Trio, and more to come. Uh, and again, make sure you mark your calendar the first Sunday of every month. And don't forget our tip jar. It's still open. You can go to GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org and uh, tip, make your donation there. Find archives of all these great shows, including tonight, and uh, find out what's happening next. Mike, Mike Regenstreif, it, it was so such an honor to be with you tonight, and uh, it, it, I hope we can do this again real soon. Well, as Tom Paxton was once heard to say, I'm here to say the honor was all mine. Uh, well, well said. Well, again, thank you, Tom Paxton. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in February, February 5th. Be here. Good night, everybody.